Hey guys, Jeremy Bit here, back with another video, and today uh, we're back here in Carter Ship Tycoon. Yes, it's on a it's on a Thursday, but uh, um, I just wanted to uh, do this, make this video to review season ten because it's by the time it's gonna end, um, it's gonna be on the weekend. I probably might not be able to record this, um, so we're gonna record this now. Uh, so yeah, we got some really cool uh, rewards, and yeah, I just finished the season. I just did a little circuit race testing out one of these cars. And, um, and yeah, so we're also going to take a look at the race, uh, once again, I'm just going to tell you guys the best method for this, um, like grinding, and yeah. Um, so let's go over the reward. So obviously at 100 trophies, we do have a, a rim, which actually is very nice, honestly. Like, uh, let me show you, and it's not paintable, but yeah, it's basically like a disc, like an arrow disc. Uh, as many spokes on the outside. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, like on my bleed, it looks pretty good. On my uh, hybrid Evo, looks pretty good as well. I do like it. It's one of my favorites actually. Now, I like putting it on my hyper cars and stuff. Um, and yeah, so that's a, at a hundred trophies. So the next reward is going to be at the season pass, which is five hundred trophies. This is the uh, Fion, it's the Fiat Tractoply, which is a uh, very interesting looking car and also every single car um, that came with the season has very cool like sounds that come with it which is pretty cool and yes yeah, so obviously you can see this is super track focused I mean look at the wide fenders um, and like the hood and the, the massive wing the roll cage and the racing seats and yeah so super cool um, so at 900 trophies we do get a Porsche 911 GT3R, I believe. Uh, Sportler. And, uh, uh, let me see, yeah. So the GT3R. Oop, I forgot to take off the wrap. Just take that off. Alright, so yeah. Uh, honestly, super nice car. I really like this car. Um, it's like a GT3 car. Well, it is the 911 GT3, but in like a like a fully race form more race focused than the gt3 rs which is pretty crazy yeah i do like it. interior is very nice obviously very race focused and um yeah it looks super cool as well and at 1500 trophies you uh on the season on the season pass you get a really nice wrap which you can actually paint um the outside it also makes your paint matte which is really nice um, personally, I like the black on this, but you can do anything you want, to be honest. You can even paint and match um, the this if you really want to, or you can paint match. Uh, I don't know if there's a really a paint match for that, but you know, you get you get the point. And obviously, all the parts are customizable, as well, everything else as usual. Yeah, this thing is really nice. Also, I forgot to go over the stats. Oops. Um, so let's see, track to fly. So with the track to fly, obviously have a, uh, did I upgrade this? No. Wow, so the sets are actually pretty good. Um, so top speed of 195 miles per hour, handling 7.9, drive change rear wheel drive, $65 in your and 2,803 per mile, seeing it's worth 350k, so yeah, pretty good. And then for the, uh, uh, for the GT3R, top speed of 199 miles per hour, handling 8.1, drive change rear wheel drive, Sixty-six dollars in pounds your dealerships at two thousand eight hundred twenty-nine per mile, and this thing is worth seven hundred fifty k. So yeah, pretty nice. Uh, so the next car is obviously the CLR, which is famous for it flying on the Le Mans track. Um, so yeah, let me just find it real quick. Uh, it's a CL. Oh yeah, so I did modify it a little bit. Um, but yeah, it, it certainly is very cool looking I mean it's super flat um, and the reason it flew because it had didn't, it didn't have enough downforce at the front so it just went and yeep. And, uh, and yeah so yeah pretty cool obviously exhaust right there very nice car fiber wing roof scoop um, here obviously very cramped as per like a Le Mans car and uh, and yeah obviously we got that typical Mercedes um, like 2000s look and yeah, so this thing is actually uh, pretty good in terms of stats. So we do have the top speed of 213 miles per hour, handling 8.3, track turns rear wheel drive, $69 in your pumps, your dealership, and 2,936 per mile. This thing is worth 1.95 million. Um, very nice. And uh, yeah, honestly, I do like this car a lot. 
It's also very customizable. There's no wrap though. And uh, and yeah. And so the last car here in the season pass is the Porsche 963. Um, so let me just find it real quick. This thing is actually really nice. I do really like this car. Um, and yeah, so I'm pretty sure this is one that participated in Le Mans. And yeah, so I think this is around the, this is probably like the, like the maybe the third Le Mans car added to the game. And yeah, I mean, it looks super cool. I love the headlights. I, they did a really good job with the headlights. And uh, you can see all the carbon fiber and everything, the exhaust right there. Um, the crazy taillight design. I'm pretty sure these are taillights too. Just little bits here. And then you see the massive shark fin, massive wing, and you know, it looks it looks crazy. So yeah, these are also um, uh, like taillights. And yeah, very, very nice. And, uh, and here, obviously, cramp lies per a usual, you know, a mall car. And yeah, so let's go over the stats real quick. Also, you can customize this really easily. So the first one is just like the red bit. So like this red bit, so you can make it like black. And then uh, this bit is just the rest of it. So I can also make this black. There is reflectance on the car, so you can't make it matte black, unfortunately. I might make it matte. Oh, white, not going to lie, though. It looks actually quite nice like this. Let me just add the new rim on here. And uh, yeah, that's actually... Uh, not too bad, not too bad. And um, yeah, we also still have the, the black striping. But anyways, um, so we have a top speed of 228 miles per hour, handling 8.5, drive trans, rear wheel drive, 72 dollars in pump your dealerships, and per mile is 3,047. This thing is worth 4.3 million dollars, which is crazy, and yeah, upgrades are pretty affordable, actually. Um, I think this would be actually a, a pretty decent car. Maybe this car will be reviewed, and then in the upcoming future in the car review series make sure you check that series out also thank you for your support on the veneno video if you guys really like that one i mean not the veneno the the furai um but yeah it's pretty interesting and also thank you for the support on the veneno limited review that was uh pretty surprising for me um but yeah and then the grand prize obviously sent out seven thousand trophies with the uh the uh, volkswagen the Volkswagen RDI, or or IDR, I think that's what it's called, because this is a an electric um, car, which actually sounds really nice. I'm um, hearing right now; it's super nice, and yeah, this thing looks absolutely insane. Let me just make it back today. Yeah, the the thing looks absolutely insane. I mean, it's electric. You see the massive amounts of downforce. Look at the side skirt. And the splitter and the canards and the massive wing, like holy crap! <laughs> and the interior, obviously, super crap as well. Um, and I think this actually is a pretty decent car. I mean, obviously, you can upgrade the engine, and yeah, upgrades are pretty affordable. And uh, it does have a reflectance, which is uh, a bit unfortunate. Um, and yeah, so I'm just gonna make the burns black for sure. And yeah, so it is all-wheel drive, top speed of 232 miles per hour, handling 9.2, drive trend is all-wheel drive, like I said, uh, 72 dollars in your pounds, your dealerships, and 3,062 per mile. And yeah, this thing's actually quick, what the heck? Yeah, this thing actually accelerates very fast, um, and yeah, I actually really like this car. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very nice, a very, very nice car. Um, you can't modify the spoiler, unfortunately, but, you know, it's uh, cool still super awesome i mean this is just this is probably one of the best prizes that i've seen for uh, a season in a long time look at that drift oh my god um but yeah <laughs> so uh yeah this is that's pretty much it also yeah we should probably check out the uh um the, the season race right here so uh we're just gonna do one lap um we're gonna test the car as well just on here for now we're not really like a full test but you know just like a kind of like a, a mini test um but yeah the best method for this obviously just do all your tasks so obviously keep delivering your cars keep doing driving the miles and keep doing the playmates i suggest that you do these three all at once um and like whenever you play do this and do this as well because if you deliver cars you get you get your driving so you get miles as well um 
and you're also playing minutes as well. And then uh, for the 20 laps, you can also just do that when you're um, just playing the game itself as well. And uh, yeah, actually, yeah, for three laps, this, rap, this uh, race gives you 45 trophies. And I was able to do it in uh, like three and a half minutes, which is honestly like three and a half minutes, 45 trophies. That's really good. Um, and so, yeah, that's honestly one of the best grinding methods right now, just for, like, trophies. And, um, the tasks are pretty easy. But anyways, uh, the track obviously stretches, oh, stretches across the map. And, uh, it's honestly, I do like this race. I didn't like it at first, but I think it's, uh, not too bad now. Um, obviously, we do have this tunnel bit right here, and then we go out of the tunnel and down this way into the desert by the circuit race and then we turn which is a, a very interesting um thing and uh and, yeah, there's many turns about this race and yeah i do really like this race though honestly it's it's very fun a lot of high speed corners and our high speed straights and uh, many corners as well which are uh pretty fun to uh drive through and um and yeah also for stock, seven, one minute 17 is not too bad. Um, and that looks electric too, so yeah, pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, so that's uh, that, that's probably going to wrap up today's video. Um, so this race will actually, this task will peak at 20 laps. Um, and yeah, you don't have to, you don't even have to, you won't even reach this uh, task because you'll just be doing these. And eventually, by doing the races as well, you get a bunch of trophies um, and stuff like that. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's probably going to wrap today's video. So, yeah, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash a like button, hit that subscribe button, and tap that bell notification icon so you guys are notified when I post a new video or go live. Um, quick recap, covered the brand, or we reviewed all the prizes from the Trophy Season 10 update. Um, and, yeah, they're also they're all super cool, especially this... Uh, Volkswagen IDR. I mean, it, it looks super cool. I mean, look at the size of the wing and the and all the aero bits. The size is just insane, and overall, it looks super cool. And yeah, and it's honestly this season was not too bad to grind. This race is pretty fun. It gives you a lot of trophies, and uh, and yeah, so you don't have to use any glitches. Just do all the tasks, and you know, do this race, and eventually you'll reach it. And yeah, it's it's pretty fun. Um, but, yeah, obviously, you guys have, uh, three and a half days as of this recording to finish the season. I think this will end sometime on maybe Saturday or Sunday. Um, but, you know, just make sure to finish it if you guys haven't already. I know most of you guys probably finished it, like, a week ago. But, you know, um, yeah. But, anyway, that's probably gonna wrap today's video. And on that note, though, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you.